So, hey guys, Bats here, and today we're back with another drug story. Now, today we got we got a good old school story. This is a more recent one, uh, from this year, um, which has just started. So this is uh, doing five Zans on the first day of school. So, um, some some very interesting things happened here. All right, so I think we should just get into it. So I'm gonna start a little beforehand. Um, so this is like the day right before school started and, you know, I didn't have anything and I was, I was fucking, I was pressed about that, all right? I was not about to be going to school, you know, the first day. I was not about to be going sober, all right? You, no fucking way. Mm Mm-mm, no sir. So, you know, of course, I hit up my trusty perk man, all right? And I hit him up, I'm like, yo, you got any 30s? I was trying to get all perks. Like, that was all I was trying to get. I was trying to get just, you know, just a couple of perks for, you know, the first week of school. I'd be chilling, you know, so I could I could literally just, you know, just go smack those in the bathroom. But instead, you know, I had to get some Zans um, and a single 30 because he only had one 30 left, but he had, you know, Zans left. So I, you know, it's better than nothing. I'm not really a huge person on Zans, really. Like, I've never really been a bar tard. Um, but, you know, I, you know, it's something, right? So, you know, I, you know, this man pulls up, and <laughs> it's always, it's always really funny, you know? Most plugs, they pull up in a whip, you know? Maybe, maybe they'll, you know, have you pull up to them. No, 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 this man, this man rides up on a bike, bro. This man pulls up on the, on the, on the bike, <laughs> He's, dude, but he, he's a fucking, he's a, he's a lad, he's, he's the boy, anyway, so, you know, just a, a smooth transaction occurs, you know, just a, just a sleight of hand, and, you know, everything is, everything is exchanged, everyone's out the jam, and you're done, that's it, literally couple seconds, you're done, all right, and now I'm chilling, so, this night before, I had already taken, like, I had, I had already done a bottle of DXM uh, that I still had, but that doesn't really do much for me because of my high tolerance to DXM because of how much I did it and I binged it, which I need to tell uh, some of those stories eventually. But, you know, because of my high tolerance to DXM, a single bottle of DXM doesn't really do that much for me. So I was like, all right. We're going to be careful here because I don't want to fucking, you know, end up in the hospital again. We're going to get into that one uh, eventually. But, you know, I, you know, we're going to be careful here with this 30, but we're going to, we're going to vibe. All right. So, you know, I literally, (laughs) I ended up smoking the whole fucking 30 in one night, in one fucking night, in the night before school, one night, smoked the whole fucking thing. But let me tell you, I was zooted. All right, I was fucking smacked. I was vibing. I was bumping music. I was chilling in my bed. I had my tin foil. I was chilling, you know. And then I passed out a couple of hours before school. At least I got a little bit of sleep. And I woke up at like fucking like six thirty. Like like I never like I like in in freshman year when most of my like like school drug stories happen bro i never woke up early or even on time like dude i was always straight slump because i was always like up all fucking night but i guess i don't know for some reason after dxm i've just like i don't know sleep i just don't need sleep as much like i i can just like sleep a couple of hours and be chilling so anyway i wake up i'm perfectly fine i just hop out of bed you know throw on some clothes And, you know, right before I leave, I take two of these white bars, right? So I had two white bars and I had three yellow ones, right? So I took the white ones first and that was, you know, my initial dose. That was what I was planning on doing. I was only planning on doing those two for the whole day at first. But obviously that's not what ended up happening. So, you know... I get to, I get, you know, I get to school, uh, the walk there is pretty normal, it's kind of how it's always been, I was, you know, decently chilling on the whole way there, you know, getting a little bit of the come up on the way, and so, you know, then I get there, and, you know, the funny thing is, is I don't know where any of my classes are, like, I know what they are, but I don't know what the rooms are, so now I have to go to the office, and I have to ask the, like, person at the desk to look up my schedule 
on Zans. <laughs> now, you know, this sounds scary, but I'm a fucking professional, all right? I'm a professional drug addict, all right? So I walk in there like it's nothing. And I fucking go in there, I get my first class. I don't know why I didn't ask for my whole schedule, but I just asked where my first class was. I got that, I go, and then, you know... I get there, and the funny thing is, is I've had this teacher before, like, not this specific class, but I've had the teacher before, so it was like, okay, all right, so I kind of, you know, I already know how to operate with this teacher, I already know what I have to do, I already know how to maneuver, and you know, whatnot, so that I, you know, so that I don't get caught up, you know, I already know how to act, right? So, you know, right off the bat, we're just kind of straight chilling, you know, I recently had gotten some new headphones, I was just, you know, I just popped one of those, one of those, one of those boys in, you know, I was chilling, I was bumping some music, you know, we were going over all that stupid first day shit that they go over, that, it was a perfect, thank God, it was like, you know, that they don't do like work on the first day and shit, because dude, there was no work happening, if they gave us work, there was no work happening, no, (laughs) But anyway, this class goes pretty smooth, smooth sailing, we get out, and then I have to go back to the office to go get my next class, and at that point, then they just give me my whole schedule, I take a little picture of that, make that my fucking home screen, and then I'm chilling, you know, now I can, you know, get to all my classes, I don't have to keep awkwardly walking into the office to get my shit, so that was, that was a big bet, um, so, you know, I proceed to my next class, um, and, you know, noth- nothing really interesting happened there, um, you know, it was just more first day shit, you know, uh, the interesting thing I've noticed is, uh, it, it seems like this year, um, compared to, like, my freshman year, the teachers are way more chill, so this is gonna be a fucking great year for, like, you know, just, like, drug stories and shit, because it was way harder to, like, you know, get away with shit back then, even though, like, I still, you know, got away with it 90% of the time, like, you actually had to put in some effort, and, you know, it really doesn't seem like you have to, or maybe I'm just really good at it now, I don't, who fucking knows, but, anyway, now, this is where, this is where it gets funny, all right, so the third period comes around, and my third period class is at a different fucking school, so our our school has this thing where there's certain classes that like you have to go to the like other like school in our area for it. Um and so this is like an auto shop class, you know, it's like the you know, you work on cars and shit. And so we have to go to, sh- you know, another school for this. But the thing is, we weren't actually supposed to be going to the other like school yet. That's not e- that wasn't supposed that's not supposed to start until the second week. So the whole first week we were just supposed to be in the library attending like a Zoom class for it, but we didn't know that. So we go and there's a bus there. So like we just assume and we hop, you know, everybody hops on the the bus and you know, it whips it, it whips out and it get, it fucking it goes over there. It goes to the other school, so we hop out. You know, where you know we think everything's all normal, and then you know we walk into the class. And dude, I shit you not. As soon as we get in, this man goes, "Hey, wait a second. The teacher he goes, "Are you uh, are you guys from the other school?" And we're like, "Yeah." And he's like, "Oh, you guys weren't supposed to be here today." And we're like, "Oh shit." <laughs> So now we're we're chilling here at a completely different school that we're not even supposed to be at yet. <laughs> and you know, we're just chilling in this class. Now, nothing too like interesting happened in this class. I mean, you know, he just kind of, you know, he just went over, you know, first day bullshit. Uh, but I was sitting I was sitting next to this kid. He was pretty cool. Um, and, you know, he seemed like the, you know, like the, the, the type to, you know, partake in drugs and whatnot. So I, you know, I was like, you know, I, I give him the little, hey, you, you know, you smoke, do you, you know, you know, and he was like, yeah. And, you know, I was like, all right, all right, cool. Because at this point, you know, the, the first bar, like had the first two bars had kind of worn off. Oh, that's the fucking, that's why I didn't. Okay. So. I forgot this, but I should mention it now. In the period right before this, so I, 
So my friend that's in this class told me this later because I was completely blacked out. I didn't even remember this until right now. But I got into my second period and I just straight up passed out and the teacher like called my name for something. It might have been attendance or maybe just a question or something, but she called my name and I was fucking slumped, bro. And everybody like turns around and looks at me and I'm just fucking sleep. Just fucking passed out and it's funny as shit because like it, it's it's just the most me thing to fucking do on the first day of school is like you know turn around and i'm just fucking slumped anyway let's get back into the into you know chronological order here so anyway we're in this we're in this uh auto shop class and we're sitting here and i whip out this you know the little bag that's got my my three yellow bars and i'm like you know I, I wasn't expecting this to wear off this fast. I don't want to be sober the rest of the day. That would suck fucking dick. So, you know what? We're going to we're going to go ahead and we're going to take another one, right? So, I take another one and, you know, we're cruising. Pretty soon after that, you know, I'm chilling again and, you know, we just kind of vibe out the rest of the class and then it you know, the class ends and then we go and we go to where the bus dropped us off at, and we realize there's th- the bus is gone. <laughs> there is not another bus to come get us because they didn't schedule one to bring us back because we weren't supposed to be there in the first place. I don't know why the bus that took us there was there in the first place anyway, but for some reason it was there, and we somehow we ended up at that fucking school and but it's it's just it's so it's so perfect like it's the most fucking like just bar tard thing to do just end up at the wrong fucking school <laughs> like i like we, we were literally stuck at the wrong school so you know we waited for a while you know just maybe thinking oh maybe the bus is late or something and you know after like 10 minutes that shit isn't there so we're like fuck dude so you know eventually we start you know just kind of like wandering around until we run into some staff and we explain our situation to them and you know they're just like you know they they kind of like laugh at us and you know they they you know they get on their walkie talkies they get a bus to like come get us eventually the bus comes and gets us and you know we get back to the school just fine. We missed most of our next period, which I, you know, I didn't really fucking care. But, you know, it's whatever. And, uh, you know, after that, uh, you know, then I went to my, you know, I went to my next period late and I was chilling there. I just kind of waited that one out. And then we had lunch. So at lunch, you know, you gotta you gotta find the boys you gotta find the homies so you know i caught up with with some people i hadn't seen in a while you know caught up with the crackheads and you know at this point i was i was starting to get a little sober again so you know i said fuck it dude we're taking another one so i popped another one goes down you know pretty smooth and we're chilling again all right, and then, you know, basically the rest of the day was, you know, pretty much smooth sailing, just went to all my classes, they did the, the, for their first day bullshit, I actually got, like, a, you know, because they, like, weren't doing seating charts and shit, like, I, I got, like, decent seats, I sit next to people I don't, like, fucking hate, which is, you know, we're, ch- you know, chilling, I'm sitting, you know, I sit next to some, you know, not necessarily crackheads, but people that don't mind me being fucking fried, um, and you know that was chilling so eventually after like at like fifth period or something i ended up taking the last bar because you know these were just wearing off like really fast and i'm pretty sure it's just my tolerance that and like sands in general just they don't really last like they're not an all day like kind of drug but you know so at this point you know i was like shit you know, I wasn't planning on taking all of these today, but, like, you know, it's better than being sober, I guess, and, you know, everything goes, you know, really, you know, really smooth, we get out, I, you know, my high ass was like, oh, shit, I still have money I didn't spend on drugs, we're gonna fucking pull up to the 7-Eleven real quick, get some fucking food and some, you know, some drinks and shit, so, you know, I got that, and I was straight vibing the rest of the day. I went home, I had some fucking snacks, some drinks, I fucking passed out for, like, six hours. I woke up at, like, ten, and that, yeah, that's basically the whole story, boys. So, uh, yeah.
if you want to see more of these drug stories, uh, you know, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know you guys want to see more of this shit. Um, I've been loving the support recently on most of these videos. Shut up, cat. But yeah, I've been I've been loving to see the the support on these drug videos, and I'm gonna you know like I said, I'm trying to get these out more consistently. Um, I'll definitely have another part of the Dirty Thirty journey coming out this week, uh, so expect a double upload this week. Um, also, uh, album deluxe coming out soon, uh, probably this week as well. And if you haven't heard the album itself, you should probably go check that out. Um, it's on this channel. Uh, it's got, you know, lots of different types of music on it, so go check that out. You know, shameless self-promotion. Anyway, without any further ado, I'm gonna head out. Uh, have a good one. Stay zooted. Um, and, yeah, just peace out, boys. They calling me dope cause my flow is nuts. I'm doing me, don't give no fucks. Play with me and you out of luck. Now you the ground, but boy must suck. They calling me dope cause my flow is nuts. I'm doing me, don't give no fucks. Play with me and you out of luck. Now you're the ground, but boy must suck. They calling me dead cause I never miss. Body the beat, the curse it off the list. I'm doing good, now they all have to piss. Look like off they clutching they fist. Only get coke if it come in a slab. Chill in the back and I'm taking a dab. Might fuck around and go cop me a tab. Pull up at him and he trembling. I'm so high, having trouble remembering, sailing the coding, call it the seven.